objects, you'll need one sheet of plastic canvas, a pair of scissors and a craft needle, and three colors of yarn. So to start off, you're going to cut out your pieces, and you're just going to need one of each piece. Now you're going to thread your needle with your first color and bring your needle up through the second hole from the right in the first row. And you'll need to leave about a one inch tail, making sure to wrap your first few stitches snugly around the tail. Now you're going to count one up and one to the right and bring your needle back down. Next go one over to the left of where you ended your last stitch and bring your needle up. And this time we'll be making our stitch towards the left. So you're going to count one up and one to the left and bring your needle back down. And you're just going to continue this all the way around. When you get to the first corner, just turn the canvas clockwise and continue the same pattern. second corner it's a little bit trickier because you'll have to switch direction just make sure that you're leaving a space in between each stitch as this is where the next color is going to go so once you've finished just turn the canvas around tuck your needle under three or four stitches and pull tightly and cut off the excess yarn with a pair of scissors now you're going to thread your needle with your second color and you're just going to fill in the empty spaces that we left behind working with the first color and just do that all the way around. So now we're going to turn the canvas around and work on the other square and we're going to follow the same pattern but this time on the entire square. So you're going to start by the first row with every stitch facing the same direction towards the right and you're going to do every other stitch leaving a space behind for the next color. Then on the second row you're going to angle your stitches towards the left and you're just going to alternate between those two all the way up to the top. And then once again you're going to fill in the empty spaces with the next color. So now we're going to take our second piece and we're just going to stitch it to the inside border. So you're going to use your third color and start by tacking it down just by tucking it under a few stitches at the back. Now you're just going to stitch it together all the way around except for the top. You want to leave the top open so that we can slide in our picture. Next you're going to take your picture and make sure that it's the right size and then you're going to take a little piece of cardboard and cut it up. Um, it can be a cereal box or just anything you have at home and make sure that that fits sliding in the back before you stick your picture onto the cardboard. So now you're just going to take your picture and glue it onto the cardboard and if you have a laminator I would probably laminate this just so that it stays protected and then you're just going to slide your picture into the slot that we made at the back. And now you're just going to use a tent stitch for the bridge and then make sure to finish off both sides with an overcast stitch. Now you're just going to fold the canvas a little bit and slide on your key ring. 
and I'll fold it in half and just whip stitch the whole thing together. So when you're all done, you want to bring your yarn through to the front side, right in the middle, to make the bow. And you're just going to cut it to the size that you want. Next, you're going to need another strand of yarn, so just stick it through the side and make sure that you're tacking it down under a few stitches of yarn. And then bring it out through the side of the loop hole at the top and then back through the same hole that you brought your first strand of yarn out through and you're going to use this to tie a bow. So that's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you did and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.